Senator Rob, Rob from Machine. Welcome to CJD. Hi, Ricky. How you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? I'm, uh, I'm doing well. I just want to figure out this whole alternative medicine craze that's happening. I mean, everybody's running to the uh, natural food stores. I know they're making a killing. I may just open up a franchise myself. Yeah, well, it's uh, quite an interesting field, and it's opening up all the time. Mm-hmm. I've, I take echinacea. What is that exactly? I don't know. It's um, like a liquid, and it's supposed to keep you uh, healthy and everything, like vitamin C, kind of. And you bought that from a natural food store? Yes, sir. And right. and why did you uh, why did you do that? Um, Were you I, feeling not healthy? Um, my wife, basically, she's a nurse, and uh, she bought it, and she said, you know, whenever I'm feeling under the weather, if I have a flu or something, she says, take some echinacea, it's supposed to help. You know what, Rob, I want to talk to you a little bit more, but it's time to break for the news. What do you say I put you on hold? I'll get back to you in just a few minutes, and we'll continue chatting. What do you say, buddy? That's fantastic, thank you. All right. 27 degrees in downtown Montreal. Wasn't it a hot day today, folks? I mean, wow, I was wearing a suit all day long, a suit, shirt, and tie, because, hey, that's just the kind of guy I am. But I got to tell you, I was very, very hot. Any to Rob. Rob from Lachine, are you there? Can you hear me? I can hear you. So just before the break, you were telling me that your wife, who is a nurse, sent you to a natural food store and you bought uh, this, this, this liquid type of, of, of medicine, I guess, natural medicine, and she instructed you to take it when you weren't feeling too well, when you were feeling under the weather. Is that correct? Yep, that's right. And does it help? I don't know. It's, it could, you know, it's, it's like placebos. You know, you don't really, I don't know. It's hard to tell if there's a major difference. So I couldn't, I couldn't say 100%. Well, you know what? I mean, just by your response, if you're not sure, then that, that indicates that it's really not doing much. I mean, if you were sure, if you felt better, if you were jumping up and down once you drank this stuff, then you'd know. You know what I'm saying, Rob? 100%. You know, I just want to say something else. I'm, I'm actually visiting my father from Toronto. Uh-huh. And um, so I don't get a chance to hear CJD very often. But um, if you ever want to change and come up to Toronto, we could use a decent talk show host up there in the evening. <laughs> Well, There's nothing going on. Mr. Steve Couch, are you listening to this? I'm getting offers already. My fourth night on the air. And Rob from Toronto is making me an offer. Hey, Rob. Yeah. I just may, my, may take you up on that offer one day. And the other thing I wanted to ask you, I know it's kind of off topic, but just before I go. Yes. Um, do, you, do you follow baseball? Because I have a wicked baseball trivia question. I don't know. Uh, I'll tell you the truth, my friend. Uh, I follow it, but I am certainly not an expert. Uh, but you can go ahead and try. Yeah. And if I can't answer it, we'll SOS it out to our listeners, and I'm sure they'll call up with the answer. Okay. Yeah, it won't, it's only like 10 seconds. Uh-huh. Um, Tim, Tim Raines of the Expos had the most stolen bases in baseball. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was like about 10 years ago. And then Pete Rose had the most hits. Uh-huh. And I was just wondering who in major leagues got hit in the face with the most balls. Who in the major leagues got hit in the face with the most balls? Now, there's a trivia question for you folks out there. I really don't know. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows the answer to that, but you know what? We'll put it out. Folks, this is an SOS. I'd like you to call in and tell me if you know the answer to this question. Who in major league baseball has had the most balls hit in his face? Is that true, Rob? Is that the question? Uh, Rock Hudson. (laughs) <laughs> you're, you're, you're telling jokes on the air. Pardon? I said you're telling jokes. Yeah, I was uh, just kidding around. I like that. You're a good man, Rob. Thanks for calling and thanks for listening. All right, take you, care. You take care, buddy. Bye. We move to Sheila from Montreal.